Hello, so this is a um, quick tutorial on if you have uh, uh, an Apple computer uh, or a computer with GarageBand and uh, you're trying to make ringtones for your iPhone, um, specifically with iOS 11, I guess. Um, I was having some trouble finding a quick tutorial, just, you know, doing a quick search on the web. So I decided to make it after I figured out how to do it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do uh, obviously you're going to plug in your phone and um, connect it to iTunes, tell it that you trust it on your phone, and then um, so if we go back you'll see like this is your iTunes library, um, and then click the little phone icon, icon here, and um, then you'll go down to tones, and so that's step one, okay, so we'll get this out of the way for now. So next what you want to do uh, is go to YouTube and search one of your favorite songs, no matter who it might be or you know, whatever, it can be a sound clip, it could be whatever. Um, sometimes, you know, you can do this for alert tones or whatever, same thing. So we go to YouTube, um, you know, find the video, copy the link. Um, and then once you copy the link, um, you're going to want to find one of these, a uh, YouTube to MP3 converter. So once you do that, you'll go to the website, uh, pretty simply just paste the, uh, the, um, the YouTube link here and then download it. There's many different websites that do the same thing essentially. So then once you have that, uh, it'll download into your downloads bar. Um, so then take it out of your downloads bar and copy and paste it onto your desktop. Now, open up your GarageBand that comes with all of your favorite Apple products. And what you're gonna do is you're going to just copy, like you'll essentially just what I've kind of already done here, um, I guess I can show you a new track, audio, or I guess, eh, 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 okay, like that, okay. Um, oh boy. Okay, so then what you'll do is you'll, this will already be here, essentially. When, ugh, should I just start it from scratch? No. Um, let's just do it real quick. Uh, save it. Okay, so when you'll get this, choose a project, go to ringtone, choose. It'll open up a new project. Uh, get this out of the way by pressing the little loopy thing here. And just you can minimize the window a little bit. The first thing you want to do is so that you understand how long or how, yeah, how long your, your ringtone is. Because it has to be less than 40 seconds for this to work. Transfer this to time. So then what you're going to do is since I've already done this, um, take the song that you've pasted onto your uh, desktop here. So for example, like you take an MP3 file, except I've already made this one a ringtone, but you'll take the song, drag and drop it into the, uh, into the garage band here, like so. And then what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna listen to it and figure out your favorite part of the clip, okay? And Remember, because it can't be longer than 40 seconds, you know, this little repeat symbol here is on. You turn the repeater on so that if your ringer is still going, that it'll loop over. Um, so then what you'll do next is literally take the end of the song down here and drag it back within that 30 second or 40 second window. Kaboom, okay. All right, and essentially, you know, you can, one of the ways that you can kind of like cut out spaces that you do or don't like, uh, you can put the playhead somewhere like this. Say if I wanted to cut out the first part of this song, do that. And then you go up to file, oops, sorry, edit, split regions at playhead, and it'll cut it into two different pieces. So then you can select it and then just delete it um, and then drag it over to the front. So then once you've got it chopped up the way you liked it um, uh, and it's looking the way you want it to. Um, you're gonna want to, usually what I will do is add like a fade in, fade out. Uh, the way to do that, quickly if I can remember. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm so sorry, wasting your time here. Where is it? Oh, maybe, hold on, you know what, command A, A, there we go. So if you just press the letter A, this um, 
this will essentially pop up um, and we'll give you the options to uh, essentially mess with the sound but we want the volume so this will give you kind of a volume line you simply just click another dot in here and then add a fade in um, you can make it as shorter as long as you want and then you kind of do the same thing on the other end over here make it as short oh make it as short or as long as you want and the way to quickly fix that you just select the button delete select it delete it and that'll get you back level click click adjust it yeah like so that looks good then make sure you're dragging the end of the repeater down to the end okay cool so you've got your song right so now what you want to do you want to go to share and you want to do export song to disk but instead of GarageBand, let's select our desktop. And then you'll name the song and you'll do AAC. Okay. So once you do that, um, I guess I'll just do this. Why not? Um, let's export it. Okay. Then we can minimize this. And look, there it is. So it's an M4A. So in order to make it a ringtone that iTunes recognizes, you actually just have to simply change it to an M4R. So th this M4A format is essentially what's called AAC. Um, so then once you do that, you literally just change it in the name. Or if you're on PC, you might be able to use like a quick uh, a file conversion. I'm not sure how to do it with Windows, but on Mac, all you do is literally change it in the actual file name. And it'll say, hey, do you want to keep it what it was or do you want to change it? And for us, you want to change it. Okay, so then you're going to come over to iTunes. You've got your iTunes open already. We've already got our little tone selection selected under our phone here. And then, so now that it's in um, M4R, uh, all you have to do is literally drag it and drop it. And it should go in. If it doesn't go in, it's not, or it's over 40 seconds long, and it'll say, hey, this isn't working, um, then you'll just need to go back and make sure you actually have it at 30 seconds. And again, the way to do that is by making sure that you have this in time format. So, and again, so then this top line will tell you how much time you're sitting on. So 28 seconds mark is right there. So if you're over the, the 40 second mark, then it won't go um, per the way it kind of shows up. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, yeah, anyways, um, so if you like this, if it works for you, uh, congratulations. I hope this helped. And uh, I tried to make it as simple as possible. It's fairly straightforward, but for some reason, it, like just finding how it works was took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. So I made this video. So thank you, and I hope this helped you.